Individual rationality takes different forms in Bayesian mechanism design setting. Uh, remember, individual rationality is basically about whether participants would like to participate to the mechanism or not. But the question is, when do we ask this question to the participants? Well, we have three concepts or three different versions of individual rationality. The weakest is the ex ante individual rationality. Um, we ask the question, do you want to participate to this mechanism uh, even before uh, the players learn their own types? Basically, they have no information about the mechanism. Uh, not, not the mechanism, but they have no information about their own valuations, and they also have no information about the opponent's valuation. So, in a sense, they have no information. And then we ask them the question, do you want to participate to the mechanism? All right, well, what does that mean? That means the expectation of your utility function where not only your opponent's type, theta bar, but also your own type is a random variable. So we have bar in all thetas. And so if this is true, meaning if this is positive, zero here denotes the expected utility of not participating. Well, we say if this is true for every individual, we say the mechanism is ex ante individual rational. Well, slightly stronger version, stronger version. Well, what if we ask the participants right after they learn their own types? All right. So what does that mean? That means each player learns his true type, but still unaware of his opponent's or her opponent's types, real types. Well, before they join to the mechanism, we ask them this question. Do you now want to participate to this mechanism? Uh, if they say yes, and if all agents say yes, well, we're going to call this mechanism interim individual irrational. So how do you formally define it? Well, again, we take the expectation over the uh, uh, utilities, but this time the only thing that is random variable is the opponent's types. So we have theta upper bar, but theta i is a known. It's, it's the realization. So player i knows his type, but taking theta bar, the other's type, as a random variable. So this expectation, if it is positive for every player i, for every agent i, and if this is positive for every realization of theta i, well, then we say the mechanism is interim individual irrational. And the strongest uh, individual rationality concept is uh, exposed individual rationality. It basically is, well, the mechanism is over, you know your type, you also learned your opponent's type, so all the information has been revealed. Do you now regret uh, participating to this uh, mechanism or not? Well, if, they, if all agents say, no, actually, by participating, I received a positive payoff, or non-zero payoff. And if they say this for every agent and for every realization of uh, player I's type, but also the opponent's type, well, then we call the mechanism ex post individual irrational. The thing is, I said strongest, stronger, weakest. Well, because if a mechanism satisfies ex post individual rationality, it must satisfy interim individual rationality and ex ante individual rationality. However, there are mechanisms which satisfies ex ante individual rationality, but not interim or ex post IR. There are mechanisms which satisfy ex ante and interim IR, but not ex post IR. You see what I mean? So therefore, uh, the, the, the number of mechanisms that's going to satisfy ex post IR is much smaller than the uh, set of mechanisms which are going to satisfy interim IR, which is uh, smaller than and, and the uh, set of mechanisms which satisfy ex ante IR, individual rationality. Okay, so I just wanted to sort of give you a flavor of how we make all these calculations. I'm not going to fully solve them, but let's consider the trade example we uh, considered 
uh, several episodes ago. So there's a buyer and the seller and they're going to make a trade. They go to the mechanism designer. All right. So the buyer and the seller's valuations are uniformly distributed over zero one interval. Let's suppose IID. I mean, we randomly choose buyers and the seller's valuation. Uh, the D function is again the same. Uh, the, there's a trade. One indicates there's a trade if the buyer's valuation is greater than the seller's valuation and otherwise there's no trade. And I slightly change the transfer function. Here the buyer's transfer is minus theta s or zero depending on whether there's a trade or not. And the seller's uh, transfer is plus theta s and zero depending on whether there's a trade or not. Well, if you check exposed individual rationality, you're going to see that this mechanism satisfies exposed individual rationality. This is not VCG mechanism, by the way. Uh, uh, so it is not strategy proof, but it, at least it satisfies exposed individual rationality. How do I know that? Well, I mean, look at the buyer. All right. So if you look at the buyers VB uh, plus TB, well, it's going to be uh, VB is, uh, don't forget, it's D times uh, theta B. Uh, so, all right, so TB. Uh, let me. D times uh, uh, theta B plus TB. And so it's equal to when D is equal to 1, right? So if theta B is greater than theta S, D is equal to 1. So that's going to be theta B minus theta S because TB is going to be this. And then if D is 0, well, this is going to be 0. Well, the thing is, whenever theta B is greater than theta S, well, this number is positive. So therefore, this is always positive. Well, what about, this is the utility of buyer. Utility of seller is equal to uh, VS plus TS, remember, which is minus D uh, delta S plus TS, which is equal to, when D is equal to um, 1, this is going to be minus delta S plus TS plus delta S uh, whenever if delta B, oops, greater than delta S, and then otherwise 0. Okay? Um, so you know what? This is always 0. So that means both the buyer and the seller for each player, for all player, I'm sorry, both the buyer and the seller has non-zero utilities for every theta B and theta S. All right. So therefore, this mechanism is satisfying exposed individual rationality. Again, as I said, because exposed individual rationality is stronger than the other two, it must satisfy interim and ex ante individual rationality, but let's calculate. Okay, so uh, now let's show ex uh, interim individual rationality. So what is it? Well, it is this expectation uh, where player I knows his valuation, but is unsure about his opponent's valuation. Well, this expectation must be positive for every player and for every realization of this player. So what I'm going to show first, the buyer's expectation, all right? Well, this is the buyer's utility and he knows his value is theta b. Well, what is his expected utility? Well, remember theta b and theta s are uniformly distributed over 0, 1 interval. So therefore, uh, I have what? The integral from theta b to 1. Well, theta s takes value in this range. So that means theta S is greater than theta B, meaning the seller's cost is higher than the buyer's valuation. So that means the D is going to be zero, in which case uh, the utility of the buyer is going to be zero. However, whenever the seller's uh, theta is less than the buyer's valuation, well, there's going to be D is going to be one. And so in this case, the buyer's expected utility is uh, D times, remember, D times theta B minus TB. And the TB is, in this case, minus theta, theta S. All right? So, therefore, integral from 0 to theta B, uh, this term D of theta S. Remember, this is a uniform distribution, so we multiply it by 1. So, if you calculate this integral, it's going to be theta B minus theta S divided by 2 times theta S. All right, I just uh, simplify it by taking theta s parentheses and then uh, put the boundaries 0 and theta b. What you're going to get is theta b squared divided by 2. So this is always non-negative for every theta b. So the buyer 
always wants to participate to this mechanism. Well, what about the seller? Once again, we do the uh, expectation uh, calculations. Well, this time, however, as theta B, the buyer's valuation is above the seller's valuation, there's going to be trade. And when there's a trade, remember it's minus D uh, theta S plus, oh, by the way, this was plus, I'm sorry, TS. And so here minus theta S, plus the transfer is going to be plus theta s. So this is zero, basically. Well, when, however, ds is, uh, oops, d theta s, uh, theta b, I'm sorry. When the buyer's valuation is lower than the seller's cost, there's going to be no trade. So therefore, it's going to be, oh, I already had zero times a db, I'm sorry for this. So it's going to be zero. So therefore, zero plus zero, zero. So that means, Regardless of the seller's type, once the seller learns his type, uh, he's going to be indifferent between participating and not participating. So it satisfies this condition. The buyer, on the other hand, is going to have uh, zero expected utility if his theta is zero, but otherwise he will always have a positive expected utility. So therefore, he also satisfies this constraint. That means this mechanism is not only exposed individual rational, but also interim individual rational. But as I said, if a mechanism is exposed individual rational, it has to be interim individual rationality. I'm not going to calculate uh, ex ante individual rationality constraints, but you can do it by yourself uh, because for the sellers, it's gonna be always zero again. Uh, for the buyer, it's going to be basically integral from zero one theta b squared divided by 2 uh, uh, d theta b, okay, which is positive. All right, so this is how we uh, 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 calculate uh, interim ex ante and ex post individual rationality. Well, you may wonder why we care about, you know, three different. Well, because, you know, in some environments, ex post individual rationality is the de desired outcome. Um, but sometimes it's too strong and so we weaken the condition and look at interim individual rationality, for example. Um, but even if, if, if that doesn't hold, well, we may go for the ex ante individual rationality. And even if that doesn't hold, well, then this mechanism is not really so useful. Um, that's that.